Welcome to the StockMinute.com studio. So I'm your stock minute, Brian Johnson. Consolidation Day. Gee, go figure. We've seen this before. Consolidation Day here in the markets. Did not take me long to figure that out. First couple hours of the day were pretty slow. We've had some pretty large moves, especially yesterday, actually. More importantly, we had a pretty large move yesterday, so we saw some consolidation. Into today. Um, not a big surprise. My wife had the day off. We had a little bit of snow here, so we went up in the hills. Absolutely gorgeous. Had lunch at a place called the Alpine Inn in a place called Hill City. Wonderful time. Uh, great place to go. Great meals. Um, <laughs> the hills are are gorgeous right now with the snow on the trees and, and the pines. and It was really, really nice. So anyway, I took the day off more or less. Just got back. Sat down to do my video. And had been, of course, you know, tracking the markets all day. I can't really get away from the markets. Come on. Any of you that, that trade know how that goes. I just didn't sit in front of the computer. <laughs> I did track it on my phone all day long, and obviously there wasn't anything going on. Very slow moving day. Just a consolidation here. So now what are we putting in? Well, you know, as for the uh, – if you want um, just a formation here, this is a low base formation. And low base formations are bearish. High base formations are bullish. Low base formations are bearish. Hence, we could see a little bit more of a move down here. There was a little bit of a pause day. If we go and look at the daily, you'll see what we saw as we rested where? Right on top of the 50-day moving average. So we were able to break the 20. Took us forever to do it, but we finally broke the 20, headed right down to the 50 where we stopped, and now are resting, waiting for a break below that. Anywhere below that 11,000 mark, or actually it's 10... 10,979 is where the 50 is. So any break below there, I think, could take you back into 10,900. You want to watch carefully, make sure that if it does make a break, it doesn't hit this area and bounce right back up on you. So you want to move stops as it goes. But you can see that's the next place to be watching. We've had a big move down into it. Now, today was a consolidation day going nowhere. 10,990 to 10 or to 1140. Uh, uh, 042, 50 points. Big deal. Woohoo. 50. <laughs> Actually, that's nothing. High to low in the Dow. Another one of those slow consolidation moves. So tomorrow should hopefully give us some direction. Now, we could consolidate like this another couple of days. You know, maybe into the end of the week. Uh, I don't know if I expect that with options expiration. But we've had some good, strong volatility. This one led us to the downside. Uh, will we finish down again this week, like all week long? We saw it last week where we dribbled down. This week, maybe maybe the same. That'd give us a couple weeks of pullback. But as it is right now, wait for a break of that 50 before you get anywhere um, into a, a trade. If you want to try to sneak a trade above 11 one eleven one hundred. That might be a place to take an intraday long trade. But boy, I'll tell you what, now that we're down here, guess what? I have not seen strength from the bulls. The bulls seem to be very pretty complacent. And you know for good reason. Look, we've been all the way up here. Now we're just down to here. Yes, it's been six, seven, eight days in a row, but big deal. The bulls are like, yeah, whatever. We were up like a thousand days in a row. So we don't care if you guys take it down eight, nine, ten, whatever it might be. They don't really care at this point. And it hasn't been strong, strong selling except for yesterday. Today was, like I said, a consolidation day. So nothing for the bulls to really worry about. They could be just gathering their money, getting ready for another strong move to the upside. It's anybody's guess, but until we see it, I am still neutral to bearish on this market because that's what the charts are telling me. NDX 60 minute doing the same thing. A little bit of a bigger pop here. You'll notice that uh, the NASDAQ was up today uh, the most. So it's kind of leading the way here now. I don't know if I want to say leading the way to the upside. It isn't much of an upside. It's still pretty flat, but it is a little bit more... It's a little bit more than what I, what I would consider a high base. I would not consider this a high base formation on the or not, sorry, <laughs> would not consider this a low base formation on the Nasdaq at this point. It's just, it is still consolidating, but as you can see, it is looking like it wants to get back up here into these higher areas. Watch carefully this move here. If it can get up and above, uh, let's call it 2114, 2116, let's say above 2120 ish or so. Now maybe we have opportunities for 2130, 2140 uh, before we see some sort of movement. That would not be a bad play on the NASDAQ if you want to be looking at something to, to the long side. Otherwise, this little move here is, yes, a potential reversal candle. But we've seen potential reversal candles before, and guess what? They turned out to be potentially nothing. It ended up continuing in the direction of the trend, and in this case, it's still down. So still neutral to bearish on this until we break back up above these areas. Back below, I'd say somewhere around the 20. 80-ish area might keep might 
ah, boy, we get back below about 2080 or so, I really think 2060 is definitely in the works. That's where I would be looking for a bounce. So if you are for some reason short the NASDAQ, that's where you'd be wanting to move stops or take profits. Weekly, you can see a couple days left in the week, but looks like a pretty good, decent uh, pullback so far. This week as well, along with last week combined, give you just a bull pullback. So as it is right now, unless things break hard to the downside, and eventually get below 2060, it's just a pullback, just a bull pullback. SPX, same thing, consolidation here, looking a lot like the NASDAQ. Little jump to the upside here, but hasn't even retested any of these levels up here. These are the levels to be watching to the upside, right around 1185 to 1190. It's going to be some strong overhead resistance on the 60. And then 1196 now is, should give us strong resistance to the upside on the, uh, on the daily chart. So here we had strong support below us. Now guess what? As we break these levels, they should become pretty good resistance above us, but we won't know till we retest. Here, this little candle here, yeah, whatever. It's just kind of a consolidation candle, waiting for breaks back down below this area, and that's below around 1175-ish, somewhere down in there. You'll want to be careful of 1170, 1167 now, but breaks below about 1165 could make for actually a pretty decent short trade if and when it gets down there. If you want to take a few before that, just be cautious, but might be some opportunity here. Nothing's... Um, truly disrupted quite yet on the bear side. Weekly, we're back below the 20 week. Maybe it makes a run to get back above that before the end of the week. I don't know if I'd be all that worried if it didn't, but you can see that the bears are now below it. Give it a couple days. Let's see if it'll get back above it. But as it is, just a bull pullback on the weekly. VIX on a daily was sideways as well, down a little bit, but you can see we are up above not only the blue line, but this other gray line I've drawn in here. We've reached 23, but we have not got above 23.50. That is really the mark I'm watching. So any further push to the downside, I think the VIX could spike on us, and give us a little bit of volatility within the options market. Apple on a 60 was down today, but you can see it doing its best to hold 300. Look how uh, it went all the way down to 297 today and bounced right back up to close above 300. It is doing everything it can to hold that area. Today, a little doji candle on Apple itself got right down near that 50-day moving average, uh, hence the reason for the bounce. But you can see it's doing all it can to hold that 300 area as best it can. Back below... Uh, uh, Back below 300, maybe for an intraday trade, really below 295. I'd be very cautious right in through the 294 to 295 area. I'd be very cautious on any trades down in that area. There could be some very strong support within that area. Apple on a weekly as well. Pulling back so far, we'll see where it hangs. But if it can stop the week right at or above 300, it's just going to be another high base formation, which means there could be a little bit more of a push left into Christmas on Apple. FAS, same thing, sideways, no real moves there, waiting for breaks up and over this area to really get a little bit more bullish on FAS. That would be above about $23 by the time tomorrow hits, and or below about $21.75 for a short. Here you can see, I thought this blue line might hold on the way back. It did not act as support, which means there's a little bit more weakness than we thought in the financials uh, themselves. It is holding below the 50-day moving average. It was tested today at hell. Not only did it close below there yesterday, it held today again. That is not all that bullish at this point for FAS. So we really want to watch and make sure it gets back above these levels before you take trades in it. Uh, below 22, or once again 21.75 to the short side there. FAZ then moving up, really pounding its head against this overhead area here. Back below 12, or ultimately 11.80, maybe that's your short there, or above 12. 30 to 12.50 area before you start looking for a long on FAZ from an intraday standpoint. This has been a very, very hard run by FAZ the last few days. You can see it coming right into these overhead areas. We've got this overhead, the blue line, the 50-day. There's a lot of work up here to be done if it's going to break through there because it's been a strong move up to that point. Watch carefully. Any break above this 1250-ish mark could mean some pretty bullish moves within FAZ. That'll be your mark. Let's see if this doesn't slow down and maybe even pull itself back. I would love to see this thing pull back right about into this blue area here, 1150 to 1180-ish. That could signal a really good setup for a push to the upside. In that case, that would mean financials would be 
in, uh, uh, in danger of moving down, which then could mean the market is still in danger of moving down even a little bit more. So let's prepare for that coming into the end of the week. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Bye.